Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, I saw a photo circulating social media yesterday. A couple different coaches and people I know shared it, and I thought it was pretty funny. And uh, I'll share it here with you guys for a second so you guys can see it. And um, the way to describe this, this is everything that's wrong with the online fitness world, the online fitness community summed up. Uh, pretty funny when you think about a lot of it, so let me put my... Uh, Plus five had a weapon smithing on. Do a little craft in here. And um, let's talk about this photo for a minute. Now I know some of y'all didn't see it the first time I flipped it through. Uh, maybe you thought you did. Maybe you didn't. So um, I'm going to flip it back through again. Close up a little bit. There we go. Now you guys get a better idea of what's going on. And that's pretty funny when you can see inside her refrigerator. And I'll tell you guys a little later in it what that actually is if you're not familiar with it. A lot of guys are going to know exactly what that is. Considering that box, uh, the best price you're going to find that box for, I can get that box for about $600. <laughs> this sitting up there, and that's actually considered a very good price. So, that being said, uh, what all is wrong with this photo? Well, I got to laugh because... Uh, She's basically being sponsored, first of all, by a food company uh, over in the UK. I had to go research them a little bit. But the first thing when I was laughing at the photo, uh, Brittany came over and looked at it and she goes, so wait, basically she's bragging about not being able to cook? You know, uh, that's the funny thing. So first of all, um, when you look at everything in this photo, you got this woman who's, again, some sort of competitor. Uh, I did have to dig around. I found out who this was, but I had no clue who this person was. Never heard of him. Never seen him before. And um, obviously you notice all the fake stuff there. The fake tits. The plastic surgery on her face. All around fakeness being displayed for you guys. You know, and again, she's giving the meal plans credit for what she's doing. She's also got supplement sponsorships and other things. So basically, it's a chick who's a... Uh, what's the term we always use? Instagram or even even the chicks I know use that term. So let's not belittling the women. I know chicks who use that exact same term. Um, <laughs> who parades yourself around on Instagram, social media, as some sort of competitor and something that probably doesn't pay a lot. And... Um, makes her money off these sponsorships and she's an ambassador for this food production company there trying to sell people meal plans well here's the thing guys even people with busy lives the majority of people out there who are trying to get in shape are working class or middle class and uh, so it's kind of like implying that some people just don't have time to cook and it's so much work to do meal prep well she's an ambassador for a company that basically most people it's not going to be within their budget to be able to afford this I ran some numbers I ran some numbers, and I know what people make in the UK. I can assure you the average person who works out in the UK can't afford this stuff because they uh, pay way more taxes and have a lower quality of living than we do in the US. Again, I've lived there. On average, British citizens, um, again, have a lower quality of living, higher taxes, everything else than we do. But even in America, a lot of people uh, <laughs> who aren't well, well in the middle class if not higher, probably can't afford this. And they sure can't afford to do this for their whole family. We're talking about a single person or maybe a, a couple who doesn't have children uh, even trying to afford this stuff. Well, I ran the numbers. Just on average, their meal plans from this company run for their plan to where you buy a seven-day plan at a time. It's one of the better priced ones because you're paying you know less because you're buying more at a time. So you buy a full week worth of their food, their meal plans at five meals a day. So people are going to say, well, five meals is a lot. No, five meals is very, very little. Uh, for a lot of men, they're cutting calories, even their muscle building plan. Uh, their five meals is around, they're approximately 450 calories a meal. So that's about 2,300 calories tops for those five meals. All right, that is not enough calories for an active male who lifts weights. So this is really even geared towards females. It's going to have to uh, be pretty expensive. But even then, at a 2,300 calories a day, their meal plans are on about 152 British pounds a week. That's about 230 U.S. dollars. That is over $900 for four weeks. And considering a lot of months have 
30, 31 days, you're talking about a thousand dollars a month for them to mail you pre-cooked meals for 2,300 calories a day, 2,200 to 2,300 calories a day. That's insane. Uh, that is absolutely insane. Like for me, my food budget for 3,500 calories a day for me is at most $300 a month. And because I actually budget, I buy bulk, I buy things on sale, about $300 a month. This is over three times that cost for a hell of a lot less food. Uh, it's just insane. Most people can't afford that. And this is someone who, again, talking about how great they are. It's insanely overpriced. And I'm not saying uh, it's not reasonable because they got to buy food, prepare it, package it, mail it. But seriously, most people are not going to be able to afford that. And she's talking about how they're responsible for everything. I'm sorry, but if you can't cook five meals a day yourself, you, she's no way they're that busy, most of these people. Um, five meals a day of chicken, rice, and broccoli. And that's like basically the idea of what they have. They have a lean protein, some sort of starch and some veggies in every meal. I mean, again, a little 400 calorie meals. This is not a lot of food. This is not a lot of cooking. You're talking about 30 minutes of cooking a day. Someone can't do that. And it's $1,000 a month. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Then we get to the fake natty thing. For those who didn't know what that close up was, what you were looking at in that photo, that was a substance called eugetropin which again that kit she had there um i know how to get that for about six hundred dollars a lot of guys are going to pay seven or eight on the street for that that's pretty expensive it is a medium grade not top end but medium grade chinese uh, growth hormone now a lot of people are going to like why are chicks taking growth hormone so they don't have to get a masculine look she's maintained a pretty face she doesn't want to get really masculine. This is somebody who clearly uses very, very low doses of anabolics and uses uh, growth hormone to kind of bridge the gap there for the rest. It'll keep her skin better. It'll help her stay leaner and give her a synergistic effect with her other milder anabolics, maybe a little anabar or prima bolin, you know, so she doesn't get the masculine dangling baby look, but still improves her physique a lot. So she's on a pretty hefty amount of fat burning substances, uh, muscle building substances, well, giving meal plans and supplements the credit for her work but right there she just got busted with a, a pretty good sized growth hormone kit in her refrigerator that's a 200 unit kit by the way and even a female taking two units a day well that's a you know a lot that's a lot so we don't know how much she's taken but that's a pretty much um that would be 100 days at two units and two units of that's pretty pretty reasonable for a female um, 100 day supply of growth hormone sitting right there in her refrigerator while talking about meal plans and the other stuff she's got supplements and everything she pimps she's sponsored by giving all these supplements and meal plans credit because she can't cook herself but she got time to pin all that growth hormone so you can make time in the morning to pin that growth hormone but she can't come up with 30 minutes to cook a day and uh It's just crazy because, again, we're right back to another one of these fake natties. Again, using drugs, using growth hormone, using anabolics, and giving these meal plans, these overpriced $1,000 a month meal plans, credit for her results. Advertising for these companies by <laughs> using anabolics and growth hormone. Yeah, but this is the kind of bullshit we deal with in this industry. All this mass marketing hype, trying to sell people stuff that they don't need, you know, and pretending she's so busy and working so hard but can't cook and is using plenty of drugs and some pretty expensive drugs, again, outside of a lot of people's budget. A lot of people can't afford growth hormone. You know, it is the single most expensive uh, recomposition drug out there on the market. The single most expensive, but there she's got it there. So she's got expensive growth hormone, expensive meal plans in the fridge. And again, pretending like she works so hard but can't make time to cook, but uses all these drugs. This is everything that's wrong with the online fitness world. It is all about promoting fakeness. Everything from her fake tits to her plastic surgery to her over and then 
and being a fake natty while using all these drugs and then trying to sell people products, overpriced products that they don't need. That is the fitness industry in a nutshell. And you know what? It's going to work because she looks good. They're going to be able to sell products. They're going to get people who really can't even afford their products trying to buy their products because they legitimately believe that these products that these people use are responsible for their results. You know, that's why I hate the whole online fitness community. That's why I hate the whole industry online. That's why um, I'm an outsider in that industry and I call it out so much because this represents the industry in a nutshell. Just all the fakeness and bullshit and fake natties to sell people products that they don't need that they oftentimes can't even afford. Um, and this whole photo just sums it up when you see everything in it, the totality of it and the product that she's actually pushing, being paid to push with her growth hormone right there above her fake tits and plastic surgery. That is the online fitness community right there. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.